to every CEO I'm talking to, they're absolutely aware that the tech will change how enterprises run. But how to apply all of this new tech in the right way? How do I change my business? And there WISE comes into play. Because it's not just about a technical migration to the cloud. It's about taking the customer by the hand, moving them to the cloud, but also reinventing how their processes run in sales and shifting them to commerce, how to build resilient supply chains, especially now in times of COVID. That's a, that's a core piece of our customers. How can we change human experience management? How can we feel the pulse, the sentiment of the customers, of the employees, of the, of the suppliers? And this is what SAP does. This is where we have our expertise and this is where WISE helps our customers to really apply this new technology so that they get the maximum outcomes for their business. Christian, very good morning to you. A um, couple of quick ones from me. Uh, operating margin down 2.2 uh, PP, uh, non-IFRS uh, operating margin up 1.3 at constant currencies. A any issues on the margin? I mean, it's great that the sales are going up, but the margin's not exactly moving aggressively in the right direction. Yeah, that, that's half true. I mean, you have seen the non-IFS results and they are actually a reflection of our operating performance. And there the profit is up by 24%. In the IFS, we have a one-timer with the Qualtrics IPO. Actually, we released further stock options. So that was a one-time effect in, in Q1. And you will see that also the IFS results in the coming quarters will also come back to close. So we are also co very confident about our bottom, uh, bottom line performance in the quarters. All to right, come fair still. enough. Good answer. In terms of um, Concur, though, look, I'll, I'll be honest with you, Christine, I'm like a lot of people in business. I haven't filled in any digital expenses for a long, long time as well. <laughs> it's hard yeah. to see when that business is going to come back again, isn't it? Uh, I would say there is big hope for uh, for half year two. I see definitely there is a huge demand out there in the business to also, you know, to meet again in person, to meet customers, to go to also, you know, some events. Obviously, it will be not exactly the same as before the pandemic. But with the vaccination now accelerating across the globe, especially in the US, we are very confident that also our concurrent travel and expense business will come back strong in half year two because it's anyway the best solution in the market. Yeah, you mentioned the US there. Is, is that where the great, I mean, look, let's be honest about it. Any European businessman or Europhile like you and I are looking at the European economic performance compared with the US economic performance, the European vaccinations compared with the US, and we just look so slow on this side of the Atlantic as well. Are we going to remain in the slow lane compared to the US, Christian? No, I, what I actually see also with regard to the pipeline of the vaccine in Europe, I guess it's getting better and better. CureVac will now come out with, uh, with vaccines, so there will be further supply. So I actually expect that in June, July, we will also see an acceleration of the vaccination in, in Europe. So I'm actually very helpful. But indeed, of course, the US is ahead. And even also in Asia, we see some very good progress. So we are really confident that we come back to almost normal business in half year two. Christian, I want to talk a little bit more about the business you're going after. And I think it's quite staggering to look at your customer wins. Uh, names the likes of Unilever, Ikea, BMW, uh, the, the likes of Carrefour. It's sort of staggering that you are seeing these big customer wins and businesses that you think have already got the, the type of technology that they would want at this point. What are you seeing in these very big corporates and, and why are you picking up those customer wins? I mean, when we talk about some of these customers, and you also saw the announcement we did with Google, and we also have Toshiba, which is a big ERP competitive replacement, why do, do, do they choose for SAP? First of all, we did our homework. And we have a B2P platform in the cloud now, which is integrating the, the, the business, uh, where you can connect commerce to the supply chain, where you can launch new business models like pay as you go and subscription. And this is what these enterprises need, the big ones, but also the mid and the, and the smaller ones. And this is why they are choosing SAP as we are now really coming together on this one platform. Plus, of course, we really pivoted the whole company on customer success. I expect from every single go-to-market person an adoption plan. So customers seeing the change, they are seeing SAP cares, and this is why they are picking our software.